Today, I'm going to show you how to make kalbijim. Kalbijim is beef short ribs braised in this delicious soy sauce mixture. And you end up with this velvety gravy and super, super tender short beef ribs. Kalbijim is a super, super popular celebratory dish that is served on holidays. We call that myeongjeol and also on birthdays and for any special occasion. Kalbijim was originally made for kings and queens, but you can make it at home for yourself and for your family and friends. Oh, it smells wow. mm. so good. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. Modern Pepper is a Korean cooking channel that offers instructional Korean cooking lessons for authentic Korean recipes as well as Korean fusion recipes. So please do consider subscribing. 맛있는 한식 요리와 한식 퓨전 요리를 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. 구독 버튼 꼭 눌러주세요. To make our 갈비찜, we need beef short ribs. Now, kalbi means ribs and jim means steam, but it could also mean braised depending on what dish you're making. So today we're using a little bit less than three pounds. And when you go to the Korean market, you want to look for the one that has this thick cushion of meat. There's also packages that says beef short ribs with very, very, or almost no meat on it. And that is for making beef broth. So that's not what we want to use. And for this package that's less than three pounds, look how much it is. It is very expensive. Kalbi Jim is not your ordinary Friday night beef stew kind of dish. This is for a very special occasion dish. So here's our first step. We're going to cut slots into our beef short ribs. You want to make the cut so that it's not too deep, just very shallow, not going in more than that. Adding the short ribs right now to this pot of boiling water, the purpose of doing this is to remove the impurities and also to melt away the excess fat. Make sure it's fully submerged under the water. So this part is critical. You cannot skip this part. Put our lid on it and we'll be back in five minutes. Heat remains at medium, medium high. So it's been five minutes. Turn the heat off and look at that. It pulled out the excess blood and it also extracted the excess fat. Quickly add some cold water and just pick it up and just rinse off any blood gunk that might be attached to this. Now this part is optional, but if you have the time, do it because it will add more yummy flavors to your kalbijim. So I want you to see how much excess blood my towel just pulled off and look at the plate. So this process of removing and drawing out the excess blood is really, really important. If you want your kalbijim to taste really clean and yummy. So how do you know if your frying pan is nice and ready? If your water doesn't disappear in three seconds, that means it was not ready. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. So you should hear that sizzling sound when the meat heats the frying pan. If you don't, that means it wasn't heated properly. 
So when you sear this, make sure the heat stays at high and turn your vent on. There we go, so you don't burn down your house. So you wanna sear it until you see that really nice dark chocolate brown mark on the bone and also on the meat. I mean, the sear mark is gonna be so, so good and add another layer of super yummy taste to our kaibutsun. We're gonna move our frying pan to the side because these guys are done. With our heat remaining high, we're gonna start adding some hot water. We're adding eight cups of water, and you wanna fill the water so that it is not fully submerging your beef ribs, but just enough so that it's sort of at the tip, that much. And half a cup of soy sauce, preferably Jin Kanjang, that's Korean Jin soy sauce, but all-purpose soy sauce will work too. We're gonna put our lid on it, and then we're gonna turn our heat down, medium, and come back in 15 minutes. All right, so while our ribs are simmering away, let's quickly go over the vegetables that we need. We need a Korean radish. Use about three finger length of your Korean radish. We're gonna cut these into big chunks. We need four big pieces so that the radish is slightly bigger than the carrots. Adding Korean radish is essential to making that delicious kalbichin uh, gravy that is so yum. And you could also use potatoes. So just make sure the potatoes are almost as big as the ribs. And we also need Korean pear. If you don't have Korean pear, use any sweet pear, that will work. I want you to puree this right before you, we add it to the pot, okay? Don't because halbijim is so gourmet, it's also part of kungjung yori, which means gourmet dishes that were originally made for kings and queens. Now, there are so many upgrade vegetables and ingredients that you could add. So this is optional. Techu is your dried jujubes. These you could just snack on. Mm. These taste almost like dried apples with a little bit of cinnamon taste. Koreans, we also make techu cha, and that's really yummy too. You could add this to kalbijim, which is extra, extra gourmet. And shiitake mushrooms. In Korean, these are called pyogo pasat. Now, if you want to make it super extra, extra fancy, you could cut your carrots and the radish into this round shape. Do I think it's necessary? Mm, not really, but it's up to you. Now, you could also add pine nuts on top of it and all these other super gourmet toppings too. But today, we're just gonna kind of stop it here. Turn up the heat to medium high now. And 15 minutes later, we'll be back. Mix it all up. Right now, my house smells so good. Everyone's like, what is this smell? What is this smell? <laughs> I'm like, you can't have any, not yet. Not until I'm done filming. 
Do not put the lid on. Right now, the heat is at super high and we're gonna let this liquid reduce almost in half. So I want you to see, it's been less than 10 minutes. And look how much the liquid reduced. So you wanna reduce it down to about half. Oh, yum. All right. So I have two upgrades that I'm gonna share with you. So one is butter. Yes, it's not traditional uh, ingredient when you make Korean food, but you want to make it taste extra, extra yummy, butter. So one tablespoon of butter. And I have togogi dashida. This is Korean bouillon powder. You don't have to add this. But if you add it, it will taste like how it's made at the restaurant. I mean, it will take it to another level of ta -da! yumminess. <laughs> So this is very salty too, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna start with half a tablespoon and I think that'll be enough. And then just mix it. Be gentle. Oh, look at that liquid. See the butter? As soon as the butter melts, this is done. Just mix it one more time, gently. Wow. So at this point, your gravy should look like this. This is the consistency we're looking for. You have to taste it, right? Oh, so good. Oh my God, it's so good. The sweetness is perfect for me. The saltiness is perfect for me. But if you like it sweeter, add more brown sugar. Kaibijim, folks, is not meant to be overly sweet either, so keep that in mind. Yay! Now it's time for plating. <coughs> Our delicious kabichim. You've been waiting all day for this, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when we eat kabichim in our in my household, I have to make sure that I divide the kabichim equally, right? Mm -hmm. Or else there's a lot of tears and a lot of so and so got more than me, so and so ate too fast. Moms, make yourself a nice bowl, enjoy it before the family eats. I mean, no mom sacrifice when it comes to kabichim. I'm going to start with the beef first, of course, and it's like literally falling apart with the chopsticks. It's hot. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. There are no words to describe how delicious this beef short ribs are. It's just it's not too soft that it's just like falling apart completely, but it still has a little bit of texture, but it is so moist. And then the seasoning, what do you think? Very good. Very good, right? And of course the potato, I'm gonna eat the potato next. Mmm. The potatoes are like melting in my mouth. It's like so pillowy, so nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, another reason why I add potatoes when I make high gym, and a lot of people do it too, is because this is how you kind of get more mileage out of your high gym. Let's taste the mushroom. Mmm. Wow. The mushroom is just so moist. It's meaty in texture, and it sucked up all the seasoning. Wow, it's just really, really yummy. Mmm. I know. Really, 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 really yummy. <laughs> so I like to mix it all up with the sauce and some potato and some kimchi. I mean, kimchi is a must. This is a big bite. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mucho, mucho bueno. Oh. 
간이 딱 맞습니다. All right, now let's make a perfect bite with everything on it, James. Okay. And we top it off with a piece of kimchi, always. Cheers! <laughs> oh, this is so big. Oh, you did it? All right, it's my turn. Oh. Mm. <웃음> 음, 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 음. 음. 여러분, 간이 딱 고기는 쫄깃쫄깃하고, 음, 음. Now the written recipe for today's kalbi jim it's on my website at modernpepper.com and I'll have the blog link in the description box below so make sure to check it out and all the Korean ingredients that we use today will also be on that recipe blog as well as in the description box so if you can't get to a Korean market order it online and I want to say thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed watching today's video thumbs up button would be greatly greatly appreciated and if you did not subscribe subscribe so we can make more Korean dishes together right mm -hmm. okay so make sure to check out these other videos right here LA Kalbi and I will see you in the next video